This here is about the 4B movement. You've probably heard of it where women are not having fun time in the bedroom with men, dating men, stuff like that. But this lady here, I would consider to have the good opinion. Let's see what she has to say. I'm not going to keep quiet anymore because I just saw the most heartbreaking video. To all the women who decided to shave their head in support of this 4B movement, stop it. And not stop it because you can't do what you want or have freedom to do what you want, but you're being offensive. You're selfish. I just saw a woman post a video of her little girl, couldn't have been more than five years old, with cancer, with a bald head, saying that she's held her daughter numerous nights because her daughter was crying because when she lost her hair, she didn't feel beautiful anymore. I didn't immediately think about this, but yeah, now that some people mention it, it's true. Now, if your boyfriend or girlfriend has to lose their hair due to a disease or something like that, and you shave it with them, that is actually a really good thing. But the intentions here aren't that. The intentions here are, oh, look at me, I look terrible with it, so ha ha, gotcha guys. But of course, the women who have to go through it, not by choice, offensive. So basically what you're saying is you're trying to make yourself unattractive by shaving your head because you don't like the president that was elected. Do you hear yourselves and see yourselves? Like enough is enough. Grow up. Your entitlement is disgusting. And by the way, I was waiting for some F-bombs here, but this lady is actually delivering her monologue with some class. There's actually women around the world that are oppressed. You live in the freest country and you, no matter what you think, you haven't lost one right. No one's bothered to answer my question or list the rights that you have lost because you haven't. You're living in a delusional world. It's called get some mental help. Go to a therapist. You've created a, an imaginary world that you believe is real. Roe v. Wade was overturned a long time ago. You guys don't want the government, the federal government in your business. Do you understand what Roe v. Wade even meant when it was overturned? Because I think there's like a misconnect here. Yeah, people absolutely don't do the research and true understanding of the law. Now, I'm not saying some of these women don't have some complaints in certain states. However, I think people tend to overreact without knowing full facts. It means and I'm going to say it for the 50th time, it means it was the federal government has been taken out of the equation to have any control over your bodies. It was given to the states. So you could choose what state you want to live in if you want to have your stupid abortions. Do you understand that? I honestly don't think you do. There's less government involved in making decisions about your body. You don't get that. I do think it's a level of education. I really don't think you guys get it. I will say, I don't think there's ever going to be a compromise that makes everybody happy. That's not going to happen, at least not in the States. So the best thing to do is give the States the power to choose. I'm somebody who moved to Japan from America because I didn't like the way things were going. With the country, with the social scene, with myself, with everything, I moved halfway across the world started a new life, you know, at least physically gave up everything in all my relationships. So if you're telling me you can't move to a different state, which might only be an hour or two drive away anyway from your family and friends, well, I can't really give you much sympathy there. So my point is if something is really, really hurting your life, your existence, then move. If it's that bad, because things for me, yeah, it was pretty bad. What was going on, especially what I saw the future would be, was pretty bad. So I moved 12,500 miles away. So if you can't move, I don't know, 45 miles, 50 miles, 100 miles or something, I can't quite relate. Now, I'm sure not everybody can move. Not everyone wants to pick up, you know, and drop everything. They've got a job somewhere. And I, I get it, but I'm not saying move overnight. But if something is like that heavy on you and your life existence, then you might want to think about moving. You're not in the right state. And at least you've got that option. Like this woman said, there are other women around the world who are actually oppressed. And men too, by the way. There's some wars going on and a lot of these men are forced into them. 
So, you know, there's that. So it's actually oppressed people, and you're saying, well, we're so oppressed when nothing's really changed and nothing's, like, really oppressing you. It's so frustrating because all you guys scream is peace and unity, and all you do is divide everybody and act like little babies, crying, shaving your head. Grow up! All right, that's about it from her. Pretty based. Let me know what you think in the comments. Doing honest thoughts entertainment. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.